Welcome. Today I bring you the preview of the next chapter of The Ambassador's Daughter. Nair arrives home, where she finds a note from Geddes. He tells her that Elvon came back to the mansion and that he has taken Malik because it was already too late, so she can go get her in the morning. Nair is saddened by Elvon and sends a message to Geddes asking if Malik is already asleep. Geddes says yes. Moog goes to Geddes and asks if he is okay. Geddes replies yes and comments that while the woman he loves fights with her ex-partner he takes care of her daughter. Nair finds a letter from Elvon inside the house where he apologizes and says goodbye. Minek comes out of her room, but when she sees Golsier passing by she hides. Golsier wakes up Zara and Elvon. They have coffee together and talk about Halise and the situation with Minek and Atik. Golsier reveals to them that she has a solution, they ask her what it is about, so she tells them that Loki is Menix's ex and she plans to make him work at the mansion to annoy Minek, because he still loves her. Plus with that secret they can threaten Minek. Meanwhile Manek goes to see Yaya to tell him that Dudu is looking for him outside, saying that he can't discard her so easily by bringing Elvon back to the house. Scared Yaya runs to the door but there he finds no one. So Manek teases him and tells him that now that he has fallen into her trap they should talk a little. Nair leaves his house and gets a call from Yaya where he tells him that Elvon misses Melek and that's why he wants to take her to the mansion. So he asks for permission to take Melek. Nair tells him that his daughter is at Geddes's house and he needs to take her to court. So if he wants to reunite Elvon with Melek it will have to be at Geddes's house. As she doesn't want the girl to go to the mansion, he agrees and hangs up. Yaya angrily asks Manek if she is happy yet, but she threatens him to tell Elvon about Dudu if he doesn't take Melek with her. Nair sees Kavarek so she asks him what he is doing there. He replies that he was worried about her. Nair tells him that she is nervous about Melek's custody as Sanjar plans to take her daughter away from her. Meanwhile at Geddes's house they are having breakfast. Geddes notices Melek very pensive so he asks her what is going on. She tells him that she is thinking about how she will be able to get Sanjar and Nair married. So Geddes gets upset. Moog asks Melek why she wants them to get married. Melek answers that it is because she wants to have a brother. But first she will have to get Nair and Sanjar married so she asks them for help. Nair arrives at the house to talk to Melek to tell him that she will come back for her after the meeting she has, to take her to court for custody. She also informs them that Elvon and Yaya are going to see Melek. Moog surprised asks her if they reconciled. Nair uncomfortable says goodbye and leaves with Geddes. Outside, Nair angrily complains that Sanjar is going to take her daughter away from her because of her and because he did not respect her decision, although she will not like the idea. Geddes answers that she is the one who is trying to kidnap her daughter. Nair angrily says that the custody will not stop her and that they will not be able to chain her. Yaya sees Geddes and Nair leave, so he goes in to tell Moog that he will take Melek to surprise Elvon and that he will return her in a couple of hours. So Moog agrees and Melek leaves with Yaya. Sanjar arrives at the port for the meeting with Karaman, who demands Nair to leave because he will not let her be the director. Nair replies that there is nothing to worry about because she will leave in a few days, so Sanjar gets angry and asks her if she is planning to leave alone. Nair answers without looking at him that according to his lawyer he won't be able to have custody because of Menix's situation, so Sanjar says he will use the fact that she gave birth in a psychiatric ward so she can't have custody, so Nair incredulously asks him if he is going to use that. Sanjar says he is not going to let her leave. They go to the meeting and Sanjar receives a call informing him that Akin is already cured and can now be taken to jail. Sanjar says he will send Kavarek there and hangs up. Geddes asks him if it is about Akin. Karaman asks about it. Remembering when he went to see Akin with the help of Guven, there Karaman was offering to help him escape if he gave him 10 million, but Akin told him that he will give him 5 for freeing him and the other 5 if he kidnaps Nair. So Karaman asks Geddes and Sanjar to renounce to take the port from him. But Geddes tells him that if he does not pay the increase of the capital, which is 10 million, he will have to give them his shares. Karaman warns them that if they do not renounce to this increase of the capital everything will go wrong for them. Sanjar asks Geddes to continue with the meeting since Nair and he must go to court. Geddes accepts and Nair tells Karaman that he hopes he can recover his port and leaves. Sanjar follows Nair and stops her asking her not to leave as he won't be able to bear her absence, saying that if she swears she won't leave he won't take her custody, 
but Nair just says she will go to Geddes's house to take Melek to court and leaves. Golsie tells Halise that he wants to hire Loki, while Yaya warns Manek that she has arrived with Melek, so she comes out, Melek seeing her gets scared and hides behind Yaya, Manek tells her that she is back at the mansion as Sanjar begged her to stay with him as she is pregnant with his next child. Melek sadly asks her if she is pregnant then. Manek replies that she is and that she should run to tell her mother the good news. Yaya tells Manek that enough is enough. But Manek says it's still not enough as they have Sanjar and don't seem to know that she owns him and tells Melek that Sanjar is the father of the baby in her womb and not hers. Yaya yells at Manek. Yaya tries to calm her down and when he doesn't succeed he runs to Elvon for help. Manek tells Melek that she knows she is faking and when she sees Kavrik approaching she leaves Melek alone. Yaya screams for help and tells Elvon that Melek is outside and something is happening to her, so everyone runs to see her. Manek enters feigning pain, so an enraged Elvon lashes out at her asking her what she did to the girl. Manek answers that she didn't do anything to her and that she only told her about the pregnancy without knowing that Melek was not aware of it. Elvon angrily goes out to help Melek, but once outside Melek is no longer there. Yaya assures that Melek was there so everyone worriedly looks for her in the surroundings. While Melek is in the trunk of Kavruk's car hiding crying. Geddes ends the meeting. Karaman again warns him not to take the port from him, but Geddes refuses, so Karaman goes to take a kin away. Kavruk takes a kin away in his car not knowing that Melek is hiding there. Sanjar and Nair arrive at Geddes' house to look for Melek and go to the court. Their Moog tells them that Yaya took the girl to the mansion. Scared Nair tells Sanjar that Melek still doesn't know about the pregnancy and if she finds out she will take it badly. Kavarik sees that the road is cut off so he angrily accelerates and dodges the men. Akin yells at him and asks him if he wants to kill them. Kavarik answers that he can only have two ends, either jail or death. Akin yells at him to be careful. Then Kavarik meets Karaman's car head on and when he tries to avoid it he falls down a ravine. Karaman tells his men to go after Akin and they leave the place. Melek gets out of the car and scared looks around, then looks for Kavarik, finding him unconscious and bleeding, so scared she calls him and cries begging him to wake up. Karaman flees the place, Akin tells him that now that he has completed the first stage he must kidnap Nair and send them abroad, Karaman refuses to kidnap Nair, Akin offers him 12 million so Karaman agrees. Sanjar and Nair arrive at the mansion, where they see the police so worried they ask what happened. Halis tells them that Melek is missing, so they are both shocked. Elvon tells them that Yaya took her to the mansion and that Manek told him about the pregnancy. Sanjar, enraged, hits Yaya claiming him for what he did. Nair freaks out and yells at everyone that if anything happens to Melek she will kill them. Sanjar hugs her trying to contain her while he swears that they will find Melek and everything will be fine. And so we end this preview, until next time.